Hello hockey fans and welcome to another episode of Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps, here for our holiday edition. Just one more week of highlights before Christmas break. But while the players are gone, we'll still be active on social media, so hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're on YouTube, of course. And for conference games, check out flowhockey.tv. There you can sign up for monthly or season passes. Coming into the weekend, Minnesota State had a two-point lead over Bemidji in the conference standings. Alaska and Tech were tied at 24 apiece, followed by Bowling Green, Northern Michigan, and Lake State. Ferris State and Anchorage had 10 points apiece, and Alabama Huntsville with five. A few teams had this past weekend off, so we had three conference series and one non-conference. We'll start in Houghton, where the Huskies were hosting Clarkson. This one's still 0-0 midway through the first. Too much tech on the power play. It finally ends up on the stick of Alex Smith, who buries his second of the year and a 1-0 Michigan Tech lead. Clarkson would come back to score two, so they're up a goal in the third. But don't count them out. Look at the strength by Grayson Reitmeyer using all 6'4", 208 pounds. Powers his way to the goal to tie the game at two. And that's how this one would end. 2-2 two to two the final score. Matt Jerusik made 25 saves in net for Michigan Tech. It was a similar start Saturday. Tech on the board first on the power play. Alec Bretzman with the seventh of the year. And he wasn't done. He causes a turnover later in the first. Rushes down the ice late in the shift. Puts in another one. His eighth of the season unassisted. And it's 2-0 Tech. But again, Clarkson battles back. They tie the game at two early into the second on a five minute major penalty. They score three goals. This one by Connor McCarthy, his fifth of the year, turns out to be the game winner. Four to two, the final score. Jerusalem had a 22 save night on Saturday. From Houghton to Big Rapids, Alabama Huntsville at Ferris State. As we mentioned earlier, Chargers at the bottom of the standings heading into the weekend looking for some points, and they get them early. Drew Lennon with the initial shot. Josh Latta with the rebound. That's his third of the year, and it's 1-0 Chargers. Connor Merkley would add another for a 2-0 Huntsville lead. But the Bulldogs battle back. Marshall Moy scores his fourth of the year, so it's 2-1 into the third. Under five to play, and Moyes, a blast from the point, finds the back of the net, and it's two to two. The Chargers do get the extra conference point in the three on three on this second effort goal by Liam Isaac. On Saturday, scoreless late in the first period, Bulldogs on the power play. Zach Yoder, first try, second try, third try, finally gets it to go, and look at that, it's Teddy Bear night as the toys come raining down from the stands. one nothing at that point, FSU. And how about the weekend for Marshall Moyes? Early third, he gets his sixth of the season, third on the weekend, and it's 2 nothing FSU. Chargers try to chip their way back in. Tanner Hickey buries this one, cuts the lead in half, but too little too late. Marshall Moyes fires one the length of the ice into the empty net. Four goals on the weekend for Moyes as Ferris State gets the 3-1 win on Saturday. Off we go to Sault Ste. Marie Bowling Green at Lake Superior State. Boy, special teams seem to be a killer this weekend. Max Johnson with the one-timer, his fifth of the year, and it's 1-0 Bowling Green midway through the contest. Cameron Wright would add an empty netter as Bowling Green gets the 2-0 victory. Merrick Smitten's quite a night though for Lake Superior State, 35 saves between the pipes. On Saturday, we're tied at one early into the third. Connor Ford already with a goal. Here he dishes to Alex Barber who puts it away for his fifth of the year. A shorthanded goal makes it 2-1 Falcons. Lakers battle back. Max Hewitt scored the first goal of the game. He does it again here, this time on his knees. That's his 11th of the season, and we're tied at two, heading to overtime. It's an odd man rush for the home squad. Braden Gelsinger with the drop pass. Hampus Erickson, the game-winning goal in overtime. Three to the final, and another big night for Mittens with 29 saves. Our final stop is in Marquette. 
Number one ranked Minnesota State at Northern Michigan. Sorry folks, no highlights from this one. Problems with the video feed. But two goals by Mark Michaelis and additional help from Reggie Lutz, Julian Napravnik, and Jared Spooner give the Mavericks a 5-2 win on Friday night. Saturday was a different story as the Wildcats started the scoring. Michael Van Unen with the first of his career. More on him in just a moment. Mavericks come back. And when you need one to go, go to Jake Jaremko. Here he taps in his sixth of the year to tie the game at one. But this night would belong to the Wildcats. On the power play, Ben Newhouse puts this one away. That is your game winner. Northern goes on to win 4-1 to one to salvage the split. Jacob Berger in net for Minnesota State. Made 12 saves in 34 minutes. Nolan Kent with the victory. He stopped 30 Maverick shots. With another great weekend of hockey behind us, we're starting to feel a little squeeze in the standings. Minnesota State starting to pull away a little bit. They're five points in front of the Beavers. Then we've got a log jam with Alaska, Michigan Tech, Bowling Green, and Northern Michigan all separated by just four points, followed by the Bulldogs, Lakers, Seawolves, and Chargers. We're off over Christmas, then it's holiday tournament time. Lake Superior State will play at the Catamount Cup in Vermont. Minnesota State and Bemidji both playing at the Mariucci Classic in Minneapolis. And then the Great Lakes Invitational. Michigan Tech opens up against Sparty and Ferris State versus Michigan. And finally, Miami of Ohio gets a non-conference game at Bowling Green. As always, we'll finish with our WCHA Weekly Awards. Our forward of the week is Marshall Moyes of Ferris State, who returned to the lineup after a nine-game absence and had a huge impact this past weekend as he compiled a league-high four goals and four points for the Bulldogs against Alabama Huntsville. He had two goals in FSU's comeback to forge a 2-2 overtime tie in Friday's opener before posting two more goals, including the game winner in Saturday's 3-1 triumph. Our Defenseman of the Week is Ben Newhouse of Northern Michigan, who recorded a goal and an assist in the Wildcats' home split with Minnesota State. He picked up a helper on Friday, then potted his first game-winning goal in a Wildcats sweater when he scored on the power play in the second period to give Northern a 2-1 lead en route to a 4-1 victory. Our goaltender of the week is Merrick's Mittens from Lake Superior State, who led the Lakers to a weekend split against then number 10 Bowling Green. The netminder started both games for the Lakers and played nearly 120 minutes in net, stopping 64 of 67 shots. And finally, our rookie of the week is Michael Van Unen from Northern Michigan as the freshman netted his first career goal on Saturday night to open the scoring for the Wildcats in their 4-1 win over MSU. His two-point night in Saturday's victory was the first multi-point night of his career. That's it for now, and remember we're off next week, but we will return after Christmas. We will, however, be active on social media, so you can find us there or on flowhockey.tv, where you can sign up for monthly or season passes. Have a happy holiday, everyone. This has been Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps.